All right, hey, so this one is a part of our keychain assignment that we do, and a lot of the students will put text that's very small, and then it doesn't turn out because the printer can't print the tiny little lines that are associated with having to build that type of text. So let's take a look, and I'll show you what I did here. I took a, the, on Tinkercad, I put out a, some text, and when you put out text, you can choose the font. I've only done this for the multi-language font, but um, probably it's very similar for the other fonts on there too. Although some of them, if you do it for like sans, it's even skinnier, so it might be even worse. But anyways, I took multi-language, I typed in multi-language 10 millimeters, and you can see I made this one exactly 10 millimeters tall. This one's exactly nine millimeters tall. Now you can see it does have a G that goes down underneath, so that would add to that. Here's eight millimeters, seven, six, and five millimeters. Then I took the exact same text and I cut it out. Just to show the point that you can actually make much smaller text on a 3D printer if you make it engraved or cut into the keychain than you can if it sticks up and out. So let's take a look. When I exported this file now into Prusa Slicer, so let's take a look at what that looks like and what the printer will actually do. So now we're in Prusa Slicer, although this, this probably would be very similar for other slicers too if you use a different one. And I've imported it and I've sliced it. This took forever to slice, by the way, because there's so many different letters in here. I think each entity takes its own amount of time. So anyways, this took a long time to slice, but you can see the results. Now let's take a look. When we're up in here into multi-language 10 millimeter, you can see that we get really good detail on the text. And it takes a couple of lines so it won't be brittle and easily broken. I think the same thing's true with nine, although you can start to see that we get some gaps in the text. When we get down to eight, still kind of works. I would say seven, we start we get such significant gaps in the text, and six and five. So I'd say seven, six, and five millimeter tall text, it's probably too small for your printer with normal standard settings. And on this printer, we're using a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. So, okay, now I want to show you, this is the amazing part. Look what happens when we go to an engraved text. What I did is I took that exact text. I didn't cut it all the way through. I moved it up a millimeter, so there's a millimeter floor. And it's engraved, and it goes down four out of five millimeters. And we can see that we can get some pretty good detail in the text all the way down to even five millimeters. It still looks pretty decent. Why is that? Well, the easiest way that I can explain it, let me just get this set up here. So the reason that this works, so you can, the reason you can make text that's cut out smaller than that's actually printed, even though it's using the same printer head and same size of orifice for the plastic come out. Look, when I take this short, uh, Expo marker, this is the smallest line I can make with it. But look at this. If I was to make, if you think of the white part, the missing part, you could actually, you could get it even closer than that. Now, I know it might be hard to do. But you can see, I was able to make a very tiny white line in between here. And that's how this works. So even though you're using the same amount of plastic, or a size of plastic, since we're actually making a gap, it can put those big lines very close together to make small missing lines in between. So basically, what is the answer here? If you want a lot of text crammed into something on your 3D printer in a small space, you probably want to make it cut out. And that will usually, not always, there's some exceptions, that will usually probably do a better job than when you actually want it to protrude or to stick out. Because we saw here that we can't get much lower than like maybe eight millimeters. Whereas over here, it seems to work fine all the way down to five millimeters tall. Hey, I hope this video will help you and I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, hey, good luck with your projects out there.